I'm at the Muskegon State Park in Muskegon, Michigan. I came out for the weekend because of an event at USS LST 393. It is a World War II transport ship. Uh, LST stood for landing ship tank and it was one of the more iconic ships you may have seen in some of the museums you've been to or in war movies. These are the ones that transported the tanks and the trucks and the jeeps and then they were able to get right up to the floating docks, open up their their bow and the vehicles were able to drive off and we were able to make invasions like D-Day. This was an extra special weekend for LST-393 because they made a big deal out of it. They opened up the ship for free. It is a, a veterans museum and so normally there is a ticket charge. I believe it's $8 for adults and five dollars for students. They had military reenactors there all weekend, so folks that were representing the U.S. Army, the British Army, they even had the German Army represented with people dressed up in the proper uniforms, people who really knew their history and could talk to you about uh, what their lives had been like for folks that were in those armies and serving during World War II. They had equipment that was there from uh, the Americans and from the Germans. It's really unusual to see equipment from the German side, but they had it there to, to display. Uh, we had um, all kinds of folks there who were working on the ship, uh, whether it was you know showing folks what it was like to swab the decks or to defend the ship. And one of the extra special things they did for this weekend was that they had four World War II era planes that flew over, uh, pretended to come in and and strafe and attack the ship and the people who were reenacting a battle went ahead and used their their small arms their rifles the machine guns that were on the ship and gave us all sort of a, a, a look or a taste of what it would have been like with the sirens blaring and the guns firing and the, the aircraft swooping overhead really quite an impressive display for what is essentially a volunteer owned and operated veterans museum. LST 393 does not get any sort of support from a major sponsor like you would think they might because you see a lot of things that are very historic and have been restored often have some sort of corporate sponsorship or they have a foundation that has donated these folks have done all of this uh, either through you know their own blood sweat and tears of working on this ship as they can or raising money through fundraisers my name is john stevenson i'm a, on the board of directors of lst 393 veterans museum here in muskegon michigan and we are on board the ship today for the d-day commemoration the 74th anniversary of that important invasion of Europe that helped bring an end to World War II. And this ship was an integral part of uh, making that happen. LST-393 was at Omaha Beach, and LST means landing ship tank. This ship was designed to bring uh, battle tanks and heavy equipment onto the defended shore. Winston Churchill considered LSTs the most important ship of World War II because German and Japanese enemies could not be defeated without being able to bring heavy equipment onto a uh, defended shore. Uh, this is now a veterans museum. We're in our 14th year. The ship is full of memorabilia and artifacts that can teach people about uh, veteran service and about the various wars that Americans have sacrificed and served in. 
but the greatest artifact of all is LST-393, a 75-year-old ship uh, that fought and served and then came home and served again as a Great Lakes freighter. Uh, she's available for tours from May through September. Only $8 for adults, $5 for students. It uh, only takes about an hour or so to go through and see the many artifacts and uh, learn a lot, but mostly to experience what it was like to go to war uh, during World War II and to serve on this valiant ship. They also have memorabilia displayed from everything from World War I up through the war in Afghanistan. And so you can see quite a collection of memorabilia and equipment. And it's all set up to be a memorial for veterans. Uh, it's to recognize the service that they, that they gave for their country. Uh, it's set up to uh, honor those who gave all and, and sacrificed their lives for the freedom that we all enjoy. And it just, it's a really neat experience. So if you have an opportunity to come to Muskegon, Michigan and spend some time there, I really recommend going through. You could, you know, visit the whole thing probably with an hour or maybe an hour and a half, depending on how much you want to stop and read. But if you have some time to really devote a few hours, you can learn a lot about the ship, you can learn a lot about the people, uh, you can learn a lot about veterans and folks who have served in many different areas of combat and in many branches of service so it's a really good spot to just kind of take it all in and learn what you can and recognize the sacrifice that people have made on our behalf to give us the freedom that we enjoy every day so that we can go out and take a weekend and go camping one nice thing about the muskegon michigan area is they have some really nice bike paths uh, they have bike lanes if you are riding on the main road I'm at the Muskegon State Park and getting in and out of the park on the main road from the campground. Um, it's not really set up for bike lanes, but it's a relatively quiet road, so you're fine riding on that. But then once you get out towards the city, uh, there are bike lanes, some narrow, but some pretty wide. Uh, and then there's actually dedicated bike paths. So I rode from the State Park campground to where LST-393 is docked. It's about an 11 mile bike ride and I would say 70% of it probably was on a dedicated bike path. So that was fantastic. If you were in this area, maybe you don't wanna do 11 miles or in my case, 22 miles, cause I had to come back on a bike. Uh, you still have an opportunity to really get out and, and enjoy a nice ride in the area. The uh, campground here at the state park, there's actually two campgrounds. There's a channel campground on one side and then the Lake Michigan campground on the other. So there's plenty to do here. You want to get out and exercise you can walk you can run you can ride your bike there's beaches to hang out on there's just a lot to do here within the campground but then if you do want to get into the city of muskegon take a bike uh, it's not a, a bad ride at all there's plenty of opportunities to safely get around so kudos to muskegon and north muskegon and the whole area here who apparently has really come together and figured out that tourists would be happy if they could get out on their bikes and see the area.